This right here is the Mage GMK Star, the second TKL keyboard we've ever had on this channel, and yes, it is sexy. <laughs> So just a quick plug before we begin, this keyboard is from Mage G Direct on Shopee. So please be sure to check out their store and check out their products. So let's start out with its build. It's got this very good machining, very standard given its price range. Now, one thing you will also note, compared to other keyboards that you will get out there, this one has um, a heightened shell at the sides to cover a little bit of the switches underneath. So to me, that is a good touch by Mage G. I definitely would prefer that style over the normal um, shells that you would get where you would see the switches underneath or at the sides. At the back of this keyboard, you do get an option for height. I hope they all they had also designed this the same way as they designed the MK Armor where you will have cable management underneath. One con that we immediately talk about in this review is that the cable is non-detachable. Now, I hope they made this detachable so there would be a little more versatility on the kinds of keyboard cables that you could use. The keycaps are double shot shine through ABS made keycaps which feel very standard and very it has very little printings on it. So I'm not really worried about those printings ever fading. As for the Jixians, as I said in my previous review in the MK Armor, if you haven't seen that yet, the Jixian Reds are a tad heavier than Outemu Reds. I've never tried Gatorons, I've never tried Cherries before, so I couldn't compare them with those. Now let's go over to the cons and the reasons why you're not going to want to buy this product. Number one, there's only one light option, which to me doesn't really bother me at all because I don't really care about RGB. I don't even want RGB. The second con is that it does not have a software, so you cannot set up macros. That's also not a deal breaker for me because I don't really use macros for my keyboards. The third con is that it's non-hot swappable. So the beginners out there who want to try new switches, I would say... This might not be the best for you, but hear me out. If you have a hot swappable PCB in your keyboard, you will potentially have compatibility issues when it comes to the switches that you'll be using. Say for example, some people would use Gatorons on Outemu hot swap sockets. Sometimes they would have to file the pins to lessen the pins a little bit, to lessen the size of the pins a little bit just for it to fit. Those are stories that I've heard in the past. I do not want to go through that. I'm already very good with soldering and desoldering. And the, thir the fourth con, actually, that we've already discussed is the non-detachable cable. It's not a deal breaker for me since I don't also really care much about cable aesthetics. Now let's head over to the pros and the reasons why you might want to buy this product. Number one is that it's got very good presentability. Pre presentability? Is that the right term? Very good aesthetics. Now that is the best word. It's got very good aesthetics and just really presentable. Although it has only one LED color that it comes with, it's color light blue. To me, it looks very aesthetic. I don't really mind much about RGB then again. As for the keycaps, I would say they're very good because you don't get a lot of printings anywhere and they're double shot. So you won't have to ever worry about them fading. Question is, does this pass based on my criteria? This is my second TKL keyboard. My first TKL keyboard is a budget keyboard from JK Tech. I've also reviewed that on this channel, so you might want to check that out. It's only 800 pesos. This one, for a price of 1,400 pesos, I would say it's a pass. I will have more TKL keyboards coming in from different brands, so we'll go and compare this head-on with those. This is Bibo Heronero. If you haven't seen my review for the MK Armor yet, I will put it right here. And that's if you're on the lookout for full-sized keyboards.